Everybody remembers the letter signed by 50 plus intelligence officers telling the world that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. Well, guess what? After the trial and the judge deciding that it was real evidence, are there going to be consequences for all of those leaders that said it was a lie when it turned out to be true? Michael Flynn is going to give you his opinion right now. The Hunter Biden first trial is over. And the judge in that case ruled that the, quote, laptop from hell that was a disinformation Russian campaign was, in fact, valid, true, and admissible in court. So it seems like, truthfully, the 51 intelligence officers, senior government officials that signed the letter saying it's all Russian disinformation were all lying just as they banded together against you, the same people, and you touched on such a critical point, they're still in power. There have been no consequences. There has not been an investigation. So my question is, at what point is there accountability? Is there consequences for the outrageous behavior without an investigation, without a congressional hearing, for these people that are still wandering around government like it's just happy days. Yeah, like like it's normal business, right? I mean, and they and these people have no they have zero regrets. Uh Andy McCabe, who I met who I speak specifically to in the movie, who um I, I really do believe that there's a guy that talk about an investigation that needs to that needs to be looked at, and he needs to be looked at all the way back in his in his FBI career, because God knows who he's working for. Um but Andy McCabe about only a couple of weeks ago, in fact, it was while we were on tour around the country showing the film, uh, Andy McCabe, you know, he was asked about, about, did he have any regrets? And he said, I have no regrets. I have no regrets for lying, for lying about the FISA stuff that they did to get Carter Page on wire, right? And that then led to me, Papadopoulos and others to put us on wire so they could listen, so they could monitor our, our communications and when no crime has had been committed, he said, I have no regrets. I mean, the 51 that you mentioned, it's actually, I think the, the, there's, there's a few others that signed it that they left their names blank. I think the total is 57, but the number doesn't matter. Former secretaries of defense, former directors of CIA, director of the national intelligence, these people, they care less. And in fact, some of them have been asked since the Hunter Biden laptop came out in court that it was in fact real, wasn't Russian disinformation. Uh, some of them have been asked, like Clapper was one, and he doesn't have any regrets. These people, they don't care because they feel that they are above the law, that that law doesn't apply to them, that they are the, in the world of the untouchables. And what we have to, what we have to realize, folks, to the audience, is that this is a we the people government. This is a citizen's republic. It's a constitutional republic where citizens decide who will represent us in the arguments that and the debates that need to be had in our in our government right whether it's state whether it's local state or federal we decide and so what we're deciding and i know this we're gonna because we're gonna do this there will be a day of accountability or there will be a time for accountability now some of these people their accountability might may be you know at the gates of hell and i will be right there to meet them to escort them in you know and say have a nice day or they're going to be held by an equal, fair system of justice if we get the right leaders back into, into the White House and into the executive branch of the government. These people will be held accountable. They must be. They committed treason. They committed an act of treason to undermine a duly elected president while he was the president of the United States to undermine his ability to be able to have a fair uh, election campaign to win, to win the highest office in the land. These people undermine that. They know they undermine it. They did it intentionally. They signed, they put their names on that document in, uh, I think it was October of 2020. I mean, I, what else What else do we need as far as evidence to show how egregious and how corrupt 
this the the, the this body of, of weaponized people and these are senior people and they're all they all float back and forth in and out of Washington DC with with large government contracts all of them as we talk about in the movie they all still maintain their clearances they all are they're all sitting on 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 TV at night on some of the major major networks as as analysts <laughs>